Hello and welcome to the onboarding videos for Chaos Vantage. Today you'll learn how to get around in Chaos Vantage and also how you can make the most of it in your workflow. Before we jump in, let's take a brief look at the user interface. At the top, there are more commonly used navigation and manipulation controls. To the left side, you will find the camera tab where you can adjust things like resolution, field of view, and other effects like depth of field. This is also where you can save your camera angles. Just below that is the Post Effects tab. Here you can apply lookup tables and bloom. Finally, there is the Render tab that gives you control over things like GI bounces and noise threshold. On the right side, you can find the Lighting tab, where you can adjust the sun position, load in environment maps, and enable environmental effects like fog. Here is the Material Lister, and in the Objects tab, you will find the Scene Outliner where you can select or remove objects. Over here we have a scene loaded in 3ds Max that we can view in Chaos Vantage using a live link, but because this isn't the final version of the scene, click on the Export as Static Scene button in the toolbar. This way, we will be able to change things inside Vantage and further stage our scene. Now, let's explore the different ways to navigate in Vantage. Vantage has navigation presets for 3ds Max, SketchUp, and Maya. And in this case, I'm using the 3ds Max controls for panning, zooming, and orbiting the view. Another way to explore your scene is to hold down the right mouse button. This way, using the WASD keys to move and your mouse to look around, you can navigate it just like in a game. If you activate collision, the camera will be grounded to the average human eye level. For starters, let's turn on opacity, as it makes trees and backplates look as they should. A great thing about Chaos Vantage is that you can do quite a lot of experimenting. Testing out different lighting scenarios by changing the sun position or loading in HDRIs is easy and you get instant feedback. If the image becomes too bright or dark, you can adjust it with the exposure slider. Thanks to Chaos Cosmos, it is really easy to further edit your scene. You can quickly test out materials by just hovering them over an object for preview. Once you like something, just drop it in over the geometry. The same goes with objects. By using this method, you can quickly build up your scene with ease. Now that the scene is set, let's place a few cameras. Just navigate to a view that you like. If you're having trouble, increasing the mouse precision can be a great help. When saving a camera view, go ahead and experiment with different aspect ratios. Vantage will save those settings for you.
feel free to pick different angles. While you're at it, you can set up depth of field and change the aperture size to alter the effect. A smaller value will lessen the effect and vice versa. Now that there are render cameras placed, let's further work on the visuals of the image. From the post-processing tab, you can change the feel of the image by applying different lookup tables and bloom effects. Keep in mind not to overdo it if you'd like to achieve a realistic result. When you're happy with the visuals, you can send your saved cameras to the render queue so they are rendered all at once later on. To set up an animation between two cameras, just drag them to the timeline. If you right-click on the animation, you can set things like interpolation and adjust the animation duration. All that's left is to add the animation to the render queue. With all that set, let's start the render queue and sit back and relax while Vantage renders out the final images and animation. Great job! You've reached the end of the first onboarding video for Vantage. Keep on watching to improve your skills, and we'll see you in the next one.